So here we go. So now when you guys when you guys log in, you're gonna get this screen. You want to hit my apps. Then when you guys go to the next phase or to the next screen, you're just gonna have right now. You're just gonna have one thing. I have a bunch of things. I have the R blog and wikis, and I have a million things. But but that's okay. You guys will have one. And that's, that's no problem. But what I want to show you is this. So let's have a look at this. So here's, here's the, the blog that I, fake one that I made for us, or for me to show you this. So have a look. There's three different links here. Now this first link is just the name of the website. Okay, so just to explain, um, I, I, to make this make sense for you guys, I added on what's called a subdomain to my, to my website. So instead of saying pyrolab.org, it says this first bunch of words here, dot pyrolab.org. It functions just like a separate web page, okay? So for you guys, the thing that I would put on my business card, the things I would email to potential employers or whatever, this thing here, this first link, which is blah, 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 dot org. In your case, it'll end in cikeys.com, right? Copy that, send that off. Uh, the bottom one here, this is if you guys have questions about WordPress. This the manual, you know, kind of more technical stuff. That's what that link is. 99% of the time when you guys come to this site, the link I want you to hit is this one right here, this one in the middle. So all this is is the same as this top one, but it ends with slash WP for WordPress dash admin slash. That's how you're going to get in to, to see your site, to manipulate your site, to do all the cool stuff. Okay. So again, nobody's doing this yet. You're just looking at me. You got, got your eyes on me. Um, but I'm going to click this. Let's take a look and see what I made. Here you go. This is the basic view when you, when you enter your WordPress site, this is what it'll look like. So let's do a little bit of orientation. Here's a bunch of stuff that the stuff's being displayed. This is our main, um, dashboard navigation menu. Okay, so this is how we're mostly we're gonna click these things to mess with stuff. The great one of the great um, strengths of WordPress is the fact that it's set up in a standardized fashion. So you're gonna generate some content. You're gonna generate maybe a blog post. Maybe it's gonna be your resume. Maybe it's gonna be summary of your research. Whatever it is. And then I I'm. I'm forcing you to start with to use this standardized template that I've, that I've made for you. But let's say maybe again, baby steps, but after you've crawled a little bit and you're getting really, really want to run and then you get to walk a little bit and after you walk, you really want to get ready to run. There's all, there's thousands, tens of thousands of free different shells upon which you can place your data inside that then will make your, make your blogs look really cool. Okay. You can easily spend weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks going down the rabbit hole of all these great new tools and stuff. Don't want you to do that, but realize that the value, one of the great values of WordPress is that you can do all that and all of your, all of your typing, all of your images, they all stay the same. So it's, it's, it's a space in which the outer shell can change, but all your meat, all the meat of the stuff you've created stays the same. So it's cool. So eventually when you want to start trying, what does it look like if I have a dark background? What does it look like if I, if I have this functionality or that functionality? It's really, really cool. Those things are called, if I go into appearance here and look at themes, those are themes. I can pick all these different themes. That's the outer shell. Then there's these things known as plugins that gives me extra functionality that lets me display a PDF that lets me um, uh, embed a table more easily, all, all the kind of stuff, maybe put a link to a social media site, stuff like that. Okay. So there's themes and plugins for now. We're not messing with that. So we're starting with the basics. Here's the basics for you guys. We have pages and we have posts. Uh, at, at the first level, the mile high level, there's no real difference. In practice, how we use them, pages, that's for stuff that we don't change very much. Uh, as you'll see in a second, that's going to be your description of your research project, right? You're going to type that in. Maybe the first week you don't like it. You're going to adjust it, adjust it. But once you get it going, you're not going to be messing with that very much, right? It's going to be the same from week to week to week.
That's a page. A post refers to an entry in a blog. So a post is something that, oh, I'm going to throw something down this week, and then I'm going to throw something down next week, and then I'm going to throw something down the next week, right? So posts are like brief updates type of things, whereas pages are more static, persistent information uh, and objects. So let's take a look and see what these things look like. I'm going to click Pages. And now again, this looks this way because I've, I've, uh, I've made this architecture for you. So in this case, we have an about page, we have a capstone research page, and a resume page. And there's be, yeah, yeah, I'll just say that. This one I, I made as a demo. So here we go. So if I click about, or, or if I hover, excuse me, above about, there's an edit, trash, and view. So let's just uh, click this about or click edit. And this is what you see. Again, I've populated this with some dummy stuff. So the first task you guys are going to do this week, or, or by class next week, I should say, is to go in and, and replace all this stuff. So take my text out, put your text in. Take my pictures out, put your pictures in. Okay? So let's have a look at this. This is a, this is a so-called what you see is what you get editor. So here's this dialog box. This is where I'm going to be entering stuff, messing with stuff. Um, we have, so here's some text. I grew up in the Central Valley of Cal, I grew up in San Francisco, but whatever. I grew up in the Central Valley of California, this says, right? So I'm going to type some stuff. Whatever I type is going to be displayed. Up here, I have some tools that I can, I could, I could you know, make stuff center aligned. I can make the text bold or italicized or whatever. Also, this stuff is this stuff here is in regular paragraph form. I could mess with stuff. I could make stuff have a heading, uh, you know, different levels of headings and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I can also insert multimedia. Every page slash blog post that you guys do, I want it to be more than just text. So every time you do something, I want there to be text and something else. That could be a video, that could be an image. It's up to you guys what that multimedia is, but I want your stuff to be a rich experience for people that come to visit you, that it's engaging, okay? So, so, let me, so again, if I wanted to type text, I would just type my, right, like that, okay? And then, once I do that, and I come up here, have a look. This is where that lives. Let me make this bigger for you guys to see more easily. So, so this is, a, so here's my website, right? Blah, blah, blah. Here's my website, slash, this is a page, so it's slash about, okay? I could nest pages within this, in which it would be about, slash, something else, right? So I can make it very complicated and, and all this and that, and you're welcome to eventually do that. For now, we're keeping it simple. So once I've done that, I can, I can also change, if I didn't like it said about, if I wanted to say about me or something, I can click edit and, and change that. But then I'm going to come over here, and in your case, if, if you're starting a new page, there's an option to save as a draft, or in this case, because I'd already created the page, there's this update. So I'm going to hit update, and those changes I've just made are going to be saved. Okay? So if I want to see what this looks like, okay, does that look cool? I'm just going to come up here and hit view page. And now this is what it looks like to everybody else that's in the world if they, if they come to my website, right? And so it's got some pictures, it's got some text. I'm going to click on this guy to go back and continue editing it. I want to show you guys how to do a couple things. So obviously typing in text, no problem. You guys can figure that out. Generally speaking, the spell checks and the grammar checks kind of suck on this. So I would recommend you guys type it in something like a Word document or something else that you can double check the spelling and the grammar. And then you can just copy that text and paste it directly in, in block form. Regardless, we got some text in here. Now we want to add a photo. What am I going to do? I'm going to come up here, put my cursor wherever it is that I want to enter that multimedia. And I'm going to select Add Media. In this case, I already, there's already some dummy images in here for you. But let's say you didn't have that. So I'm going to click Upload Files, and then I'm going to navigate to somewhere on my computer that has a picture I want. So let's make sure there's nothing totally crazy on here that will get me in trouble with you guys. Uh, so let's pick something like, 
uh, I don't know, what's this? Large spills, whatever that is. So I'm going to say insert, and the, the stuff's going to be embedded for good digital professionalism standards and practices. I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to put in a better name. Large spills 16. I'm just going to say, uh, you know, oil spill, oops, spill graph. Okay. That allows someone that's, so a Google system or somebody that's searching my, my website, they can actually, it's a more descriptive term. It, it can help them out. Similarly, if it is something that's a, a rich data product, if it's not just a picture of me standing around that I want to interpret, I probably want to add something here where it says caption. So, uh, and, and in, in the case, in this case, I didn't make this figure. I, I got it from another publication. I want to put the publication's name in there maybe. So I'll say something like uh, source colon uh, IWCC 2017 or something, right? And then I'll say insert into page. Boom, there it is right there. And because, because I had a caption, the caption shows up right below the thing. So it's very easy to insert multimedia. Similarly, it's very easy to insert videos. Now, I'm the crazy professor dude, so I got special privileges. You guys don't have unlimited memory. You guys have, you guys have relatively restricted memory. So photos, no problem. And upload those photos, rock it and roll it. Video tends to be really, really memory intensive. So videos tend to be really big. So if you guys do have an audio thing you wanna put up there, a short video clip, my suggestion is you upload that to YouTube, to Vimeo, to some external service, and then we just embed the link. That way, uh, it works totally seamlessly, smoothly. It'll look great to everybody that's coming to your webpage, but you don't eat up all your memory with a, a, a video file. So let me just show you how you do that. So does it show you the actual video like if you were looking at YouTube? Yep. Okay. I'll show you right here. Okay, so let's say I want to embed uh, this video here. So I would come up here, I would click the share button. Here's the link, I'm just gonna copy that share button, go back to my site, wherever, again, wherever I wanna put it in, maybe I wanna put it in right here, and I'm just gonna paste, and then WordPress is gonna think, and then boom, WordPress is gonna do all the work for you. And it's like, boom, same thing if it, you had, again, something from SoundCloud, any kind of major multimedia service uh, you can embed it and it's good to go. Again, I'm going to click the update button so it saves all my work. Booyah. And we're good to go. So then now when I go back and view that page again, now, look, there's the picture I just stuck in. There's the video. And if I kick play, push play, the video is going to stream. I, I add, oh, I bring the page. Sorry. Uh, it's gonna right. It's gonna play naturally, natively from within your site. So people don't have to leave your site to see the content. They can watch your videos, stay on your web page, then go down and look at your other stuff. Cool. All right. Let's uh, real quickly. Let's just finish looking at um, these things. So so here's the pages that we have. So about you need to populate your about page. What you need there is a one paragraph bio of you and a picture of you in the field a picture that's a good this isn't a good picture i should have put up a better example picture um so i mean you can tell it's me but i want a picture of you closer up i want a good picture of your face right so again when you're giving your when you're giving your business card to someone and someone has your business card and they're like oh man i met 10 people that day which one was she can't remember they go to your website and like oh yeah that's her right so a good picture of you, a good, a good, you know, not something clipped out of the wedding when you're like drinking the whiskey and all that stuff, but you know, an actual good picture, good lighting, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So we, there's an about me, picture of you, paragraph about uh, you. Then there is your resume. This is the only thing you don't have to mess with for next week. So we haven't gotten resumes yet. So in this case, this is just a placeholder resume thing that I've thrown up here. Leave that as it is for now. We'll fix that shortly. But then the next thing I want you guys to work on is capstone research. 
So again, at least one picture and then some text description. So I understand that you guys are still, we're still getting into your research projects, so you don't know. You can update this, no problem in the future. But for starters, why don't you post, paste in your uh, abstract, your summary, right? If you want to give more detail right now, by all means, go ahead and do it. But at a minimum, let's have your abstract in there and, and some kind of map, some kind of illustration, something about your organism, your location, something like that. Okay? So now if somebody comes to navigate to my site, they can learn about me. They can learn about what my research is about. And then, not quite yet, but they could go see my resume. Cool? The last thing before I turn you loose, is our blog. You, I also want you guys to do your first blog post. And I understand it's going to be a bit of a practice and just kind of a placeholder thing, but go ahead and do that. Make sure you can do it. Again, the blog is going to be just like your web page in that it's the same editor, right? Same things going on. You're going to have at least one multimedia thing, probably a picture, and then some text display. You guys need to do a, a post a week, okay? This is gonna give your site authenticity. So this is gonna make your site not seem like some corporate shill PR exercise, right? Because it's not, that's not what this is. This is about you establishing a place for yourself. So you're gonna tell me about what happened this week in your scholarship. Oh, I figured out this cool thing, and I learned how to blah, 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 and here's a, here's a, a crappy graph, because you know, I'm in progress, but I figured out how to do this. Whatever it is, that's cool. You figure something out cool? Great. You finally got out into the field, and you sampled your stuff? Great. Right? Do a couple pictures, of, get a, a friend to take a picture of you in the field, right? Uh, uh, take a picture of your critter, take a picture of your, the guys you just pulled out in your, ice, in your cooler, whatever it is you're doing. But then some weeks, it's going to suck, right? Some weeks you're going to be stuck. Some weeks you're not going to be able to figure out the statistics. Some week you, you thought something was significant and it turned out not to be significant. You're going to tell me about that too, okay? This is not some baloney little kid Facebook posing with my makeup to look the prettiest, whatever, right? This is, a, this is a you showing the world that you are a researcher. Our research never goes perfectly well all the time. In fact, most of the state of research is stuff is going wrong, stuff isn't working. So you do not have to sugarcoat that. You do not have to hide that. When you're struggling with something, post it. Because I'm going to start looking at these, right? This is going to be one of my ways of touching, touching base with you. But also, check it out. When you go to an employer nine months from now, and you give them your, your, your blog address, and they look at it, they're going to actually see you guys doing work, right? Oh my God, she, she had a crappy couple weeks here. Oh, then she figured that out and then she was rocking, right? It, it makes it real, right? And, and it is real because that's how, that's how it goes, okay? So, so you have to do a weekly post. It does not have to be, I solved cancer every single week, right? It's going to be, you're just updating. This is what's going on. This is what I figured out. This is the these are the challenges I'm having, what have you. Here's one last thing that will help with our template. So here we go. So I put in my multimedia. I've put in my text. Here's my uber do 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 Maybe I have a couple pictures. uber do 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 Well, it's because I'm so educated. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I speak that 17 languages, but that's how I roll. Um, so, but here's one other thing that'll that'll it'll logistically work better. Uh, I this is the stuff that is in the actual body of the post. But have a look down here on the lower right. There's this thing called featured image. Every time you do a blog post, I want you to do a featured image. Now, it could be the same picture that you embed in, your, in the rest of your site. It could be a different one. Here's why I want you to do that. Let's look at the overall site. So now I'm going to go to my blog and say visit site. So with our template, this is, how, this is what it looks like to folks. So here's, here's the navigation. If they want to see about me, if they want to my research, my resume, they can click one of these things and navigate to it. But check it out. These are my blogs. This is the default start blog that all WordPress sites have. You can delete that if you want. Here's my first you know, fake test post. When I do another one, 
this guy is going to rock over to here, this guy is going to rock over to here, and that new one will be here. And in the header right here, it's going to grab an image. So it's a bit more visually engaging. That image is the so-called featured image. So the image that's showing up here, that's, the, that's why I want you guys to, to always go in there and add, make sure you add a, a featured image. Cool? That might sound a little complicated, but it's, it's actually not. You guys will figure it out pretty quickly. So each image, do, is it from us, or do we, do we steal it from the website? Or the images, it? you guys could steal images from wherever you want as long as you properly reference it, just like data. If you guys are talking about the background, of course you can talk about some of these at work. Of course you can cite their numbers, et cetera. Just make sure you reference it. So if you do grab a picture from someone else, that's totally cool. Just make sure in the caption you say, you know, the source of it was X. And, oh, sorry, the one last thing I didn't show you guys, and then I'll turn you loose. Um, let me just make sure that you guys know how to embed a, um, embed a hyperlink. So let's say, here's my new post. Uh, post number four. And I went to France this weekend. Blah, 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 right? And I do all my stuff. Use the power of the medium. One of the great powers of our interconnected world is that we can embed links and we can embed references. So for example, if I reference blah, 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 Smith 2017's paper or data, that's cool. I want you guys to say Smith 2017, but instead of just saying it in dead text, you could put a hyperlink to the actual paper. That's what you should be doing, right? Use the power. So let's say, let's say I said I went to France this weekend. Here's France.com. So, okay. So let's say this is the link I wanted, right? Whatever it is. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to highlight the text where I want the link to be embedded. I'm going to click this dude right here, which says insert edit link. I'm going to hit paste. Last little suggestion is I'm going to smack this wheel right here. And I'm going to click this box. That's going to mean when people click the link, it's going to open a new tab and it's going to keep my web page open for them. You don't have to do that, but it's a little, little nicer, right? And then I'll just say update. And then I'll say publish. Well, I should have added my, my featured image and all that other stuff, but now it's good to go. Now when somebody goes and looks at my page, they're going to see this. And if they want to click that, boom, they're good. Cool? So you guys know how to insert text now. You know how to insert images slash, slash uh, 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 YouTube and things like that. And you know how to do a hyperlink. That's all the basic stuff.